Hi Roboticist, today we're gonna solve the problem of grasping in gazebo and this is uh, an issue that I'm sure that many of you have already uh, faced especially if you are dealing with um, uh, simulation for pick and place or um, grasping using a, a vacuum uh, gripper type okay so um, before to start uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and let's jump into the topic of today okay so first of all uh, why I think that this is gonna be a problem because uh, a gazebo um, is not very good when we are trying to simulate the grasping aspect because if you're uh, working with a grasping effect you need to um, determine the point of contact between uh, the gripper and the object that you want to pick and then also um, there's going to be some uh, friction parameters that you will need uh, to uh, set up and this is a traditional thing okay so um, if you keep uh, all this surface parameter uh, that uh, uh, are being selected as default um, you're gonna face uh, the a problem that uh, the object is gonna be uh, to uh, slip away from the gripper so let's uh, have a look on that and see what's happened so let's say that we wanted to pick this uh, green object with the robotic uh, gripper uh, again this is uh, um, um, framework uh, that I have developed in my previous uh, video so uh, check out uh, the link uh, in the top uh, right corner here uh, okay um, so first uh, let's uh, use uh, move it for example and uh, let's ask uh, um, the robot to go um, to pick so for example let's go here to the home position um, let's uh, open the gripper there we go the controllers are working okay and then let's now try to um, uh, take the end effector closest to the point and then the point of contact and then let's try to uh, grasp okay there we go so we have uh, placed uh, our uh, robot using the motion planning plugin of uh, move it in the, the exactly the position where we just needed to close the gripper in order to uh, grasp the object that we want to pick okay so now let's uh, uh, try to close uh, the uh, gripper uh, and then let's see what uh, is happening so let's change to the robotic planning to the uh, robotic gripper and then let's try to close uh, and let's see if we faced uh, the problem that uh, we were uh, talking uh, about okay you can see here so we have uh, uh, closed uh, um, the gripper given the command to close the gripper and then some kind is uh, slipped and this um, um, it's very difficult to uh, trick uh, in uh, gazebo because if you go into your uh, words what you will need to do is to go inside the link of uh, your um, your object the green cube and try to uh, modify uh, the um, the uh, viscosity the viscosity the density um, the friction and um, so on and so forth and honestly speaking i will not recommend to do that okay uh, so what we can do to solve this problem uh, well there's going to be a workaround that uh, is uh, available in um, for a uh, Ross shoe and this is going to be this uh, package the IFRA uh, crown field uh, link attacher um, I hope that I uh, did not mispronounce sorry if I did uh, but um, it's a very um, useful uh, plugin for a uh, gazebo that allows you to uh, trick the field physics uh, meaning that is going to be a service that when you are activated you just need to select um, the um, 
uh, the link of your robot and the link of the object that you wanted to attach to. Okay, and then you're gonna have um, you, you're gonna see here uh, how it's gonna work. And uh, the only thing that you need to do again, the only thing that you need to do is uh, to clone this repository. And then, um, and then what we're gonna need is to attach this plugin in the Word file. Okay, so let's do it right away. And then let's run a Colcom build. There we go. So uh, now what we need to do before uh, to test it out, we need to use uh, this uh, plugin and copy and paste at the very end of our word that we have just created in the last video. I'm going to put the link in the top right corner. And there we go. Make sure that this plugin is going to be before the tag of word. OK, so now what we're going to do is to build the package, call con build, then source the environment because I remember that we have um, installed a new package. There we go. So let's open the terminal and let's run ROS2 service list. And let's see if we have uh, the, there we go, the, uh, we have uh, the attach link and the uh, detach link, okay? So uh, this means that uh, the uh, Gazebo plugin works. So what we can do is uh, to use this. And if we want to test, let's try to uh, reach uh, in forward kinematics uh, the position uh, for a good grasping, okay? So let's... Uh, uh, find uh, uh, the previous uh, uh, joint uh, um, position. Okay, so uh, this uh, is a position that uh, I had already saved before. So let's uh, accelerate this and run and execute. Okay, there we go. Now let's open the gripper. Okay. Now let's uh, let's uh, 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 allows the um, gripper to uh, reach uh, um, the cube. So now we are in the right position to uh, test uh, the um, service. So let's imagine that now we are going to close the gripper. Okay. So once uh, that the gripper is closed, uh, what we will need to trigger is uh, the triggering of uh, this service call. Okay. So how we will need to call the service? Well, you just need to copy and paste what you find uh, in the GitHub repository, which is going to be this one. Okay. So now I'm going to copy. So uh, you open another terminal, okay? Remember to source the environment, okay? So just uh, see if we have uh, our service. Uh, okay, so we have uh, our service available. That is name. It's a capital case attach link. So meaning that the Gazebo plugin <laughs> works fine. And then what we're going to do is to just paste it. OK, so now we need to um, give this the good input. So the model one is going to be Cobot. OK, Cobot is the model and the link name is the link that belongs to the model one to which we want to attach the object. OK, so we want to attach the uh, you can see it here, the wrist free link, the wrist free link that is going to be this one. Okay, so let's change the name in wrist free link. Okay, there we go. So model two name is the name of the object that you want to attach to this link. What is this? Is this one and the gazebo and for gazebo is 
green cube the model chu and link underscore chu is the name of the link that belongs to the model chu okay i hope that you have understood the logic okay um so let's put a green cube okay and then this is link two. Okay, what's happened if we press play? Okay, the response says that ah, okay, I have uh, um, put uh, mg green cube. I, it was a typo error, so let's uh, now it should work. So there we go. Uh, now we see that uh, the response to the service is succeed. Okay, so what's happening? Well, this here where the uh, magic happens. So what uh, happens if we pull it upstairs? Then you can see that even though the object is not touched from the gripper, this service allows uh, to uh, trick the um, the physics. So as long as you have this uh, service called and the response was good, then we have that the um, whatever is going to be the physics, whatever is going to is going to be the external uh, variable to your simulation, no matter what's happen, your um, cube is attached is binded to a certain link of your uh, robots okay and this is a very good work around that uh, allows uh, you uh, to overcome the problem that uh, you have in the slipping uh, of uh, the um, the object that you want to pick from the gripper and you can use exactly the same logic and the same simulation trick if you wanted to simulate uh, uh, an effector of your robot that has a vacuum gripper, which is uh, uh, very um, useful and very used in um, palletizing uh, application that use a lot of um, uh, vacuum gripper. Okay, and then feel free to um, to uh, to uh, move uh, your uh, object. Okay, so now let's see that we want to uh, place somewhere else uh, in uh, the table. So for example, uh, just uh, move uh, uh, like this, uh, just here, okay? Just to, to check. So make sure that we are not colliding uh, with the object. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna see how to, to run a pick and place uh, using the collision object so we can uh, plan the fact that uh, we can uh, put into this, uh, um, into this uh, bin. Uh, so now, uh, what we will need to do if we want to detach? Well, basically, what we will need to do is to call the detach link service. So let's copy and make the same thing as before. Let's test it. And there we go. So the physics uh, were activated and then the cube feels the uh, gravity, okay? Of course, if you wanna run into a, um, uh, a better simulation, then we will see in the next video that uh, this service will be triggered when we are going to close um, uh, the, uh, the gripper. Um, then we are going to activate this service. Um, okay, so uh, you can imagine that uh, this uh, is very useful if you want to run some pick and place application and uh, also um, it's, uh, the, um, uh, it's a very uh, intelligent work uh, around uh, to uh, overcome all the problem that you have if you need to um, simulate in deep dive or uh, uh, the um, friction uh, parameters of both material that you will need some damping factor is gonna be very difficult in my opinion to uh, to simulate um, 
I have uh, a, um, a comment uh, on this. Uh, my comment is that uh, um, normally if uh, you uh, want to uh, run a real simulation that is going to be a digital twin of uh, the behavior of uh, your gripper in your uh, with the object, uh, usually um, the grippers adopt um, a, a very specific controller uh, like an um, impedance control. So meaning that the um, the uh, the controllers of the gripper act like uh, with a damping factor. Um, when we are going to have an external force that act and uh, this is uh, uh, typical when you're going to have a uh, true uh, gripper then you want to force uh, the joint to go in a certain position and then it feels uh, let's say the, the grippers feels uh, um, the rigid uh, the rigid body and then the gripper controller like act as a damping so that's why in the gripper are implemented not a position control but position controller but is going to implement an effort controls okay um, but I have to say unfortunately that uh, a gazebo is uh, uh, not uh, unfortunately the right choice to simulate this kind of thing and uh, in my opinion if uh, you are going to develop uh, a completely uh, new uh, gripper design with a gripper controller and you want to simulate how this gripper uh, acts when you are going to grasp um, uh, your uh, object in different point of contact I am afraid that gazebo is could be not the best uh, uh, simulation tool uh, for your purpose um, okay and then for that kind of specific uh, uh, task I really would suggest you to um, uh, run a simulation uh, in Isaac Sim and then do the training the training with uh, Isaac Lab um, put in the description uh, if you want me to uh, start a new series uh, in uh, this uh, field uh, which is going to be Isaac Sim and Isaac Lab by the way and uh, well um, in the next video stay tuned because uh, uh, we are going to uh, we have everything in our hand to simulate our real pick and place application um, so uh, again that's all for today uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification be bell, and it very uh, helped me and uh, to um, uh, prepare um, some tutorial uh, like this. And if you haven't, uh, make sure to have a look in uh, the uh, masterclass uh, where I'm going to teach you um, everything that you need to do in running a simulation in ROS, ROS2 with the computer vision uh, integrated. And uh, feel free to check um, the, um, the curriculum uh, here. And um, I'm going uh, to uh, publish a new module around every uh, month uh, based also to uh, your feedback and the preference of uh, the students um, and then uh, again uh, thanks for your attention and as always keep learning robotics with Ross